So with much fanfare, here is John Jones back in defense of his UFC Heavyweight Championship. Remarkable the manner in which he came back from a three-year layoff. Figures to present an even better version here tonight. Well, so many people questioned or wondered when John Jones would come to heavyweight. When he did, he looked better than he ever has inside the UFC's octagon. Winning the heavyweight championship and reasserting himself as the dominant force in mixed martial arts. John Jones once again steps to the octagon looking to build on his legacy. And we don't know how long for this game John Jones is, so enjoy him while he is here. We'll see how it goes tonight in this UFC Heavyweight Championship title defense. John Jones, one of the greatest of all time, has stepped inside the octagon once again. Johnny Bones is ready to fight. Striking here early, you know he can also grapple with the best of them, but an obvious reach advantage yet again for John Bones Jones tonight. 84 and a half inches in reach, something that is very difficult for opponents to count. Oh, big elbow. All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this one. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, he's 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully how to fight with his height and his range. All those long-range weapons are John Jones's calling card. Down defense holds up. Fighters separate from the clinch now. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Just out of range with that kick attempt. And now some separation. Big shot to the head. Beautiful work on the feet tonight by Jones. Takedown defense holds up. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. 
but he's got to start to protect it. Jones has got his head. Let's see if he can secure a guillotine choke here. Oh, straight punch. It's there again. The fighter lands a kick now, and a pretty good one at that. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Beautiful transition. All right, working inside the closed guard now. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Jones is in half guard now. Oh, now he's attacking on triangle. Now he's in trouble. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready to fight? You ready? You round two on the way. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. And maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, nice right hand. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. He's setting up a submission attempt. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. That's it. That's the end of the fight. It's got to be. Oh, he's trying to buck the hips. Looked like he got the hand ready to tap. I mean, look at that. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Not panicking in a position that is very, very difficult to deal with. Two minutes now to go round two. Right, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Print the shirts, ground and pound. Might be able to hook onto an arm here. What a tight arm ball. John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Oh, that's how you do it. Postures up and lands to the head. Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense has done a great job just making sure he leaves nothing long, no submission attempts, even when they get him. He continues to stay calm and patient, and he's defending these take these submissions. 15 seconds. Big double leg number two. Oh, In a very God. close round, a takedown like that might be the difference. He won that last time. He's all over here with the submissions. What's a fool guy? 
We trained this in the gym. If your defense showed, you know what you're doing. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. That was a big check. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to working the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. It's work, guys. Come on. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Now some separation from his first position. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Three minutes to go. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Jeez, you can hear that. <laughs> Both guys appear to land there. Best punch in the game. Beautiful jab. Single collar tie there. That knee, that knee hurt him. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Now drops inside that close guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. One minute now to go in the third. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Jones. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. And there you go, again, half guard. Well, not a guy you want on top of you. Ground and pound strikes piling up here. Good work by Jones. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Jones. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. Nice job. The striking looks unreal. I want you to keep that up. Put the pressure on. I love the way you're mixing up combinations, just like we drilled in the gym. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Ready to fight? Ready. Go. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test. In the well, 
Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Circling to his right. Still plenty of time with which to work here, round four. Caught that kick there. Gets it. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. Probably my favorite takedown. He got him with the ankle pick. There. I mean, an ankle pick. He hit an ankle pick. You don't see it very often, but when it's done, just like Kel Sanders used to do to me all the time, beautiful ankle pick. All right, he's got him in the north-south. Jones is now trying for the Kimura. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Ooh, strong grip on the arm. Look at him with all that pressure starting to get tight. All right, so he lets go of the submission now. He let go because he saw that he was going to lose his position. He's got to maintain dominant position when you're in a fight. Man, it doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. There it is. Now he's on the mouth. This is a terrible position. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side. Underhook, this is a great position for a top fight. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swell. You ready to fight? You ready? Here we go, fifth and final round. Big inside kick. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Double leg takedown attempt there, and you got to think that's something that's going to give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence when it happens that easily. He took a shot, he got a takedown. What now? We'll see. Oh, heavy shots raining down. Break out! Break out! Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the match? Right into side control. Back mount now. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Oh, that rear naked choke is tight. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Oh, huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you and I love a good grappling match, but these fighters came to see nothing. Yeah, the fans came to see him knock each other out, and that's what they're going to get. All the grappling was beautiful to watch, John, but ultimately, it is the striking. Oh, the best head kicks you'll ever see. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Boy, take that. Oh, man, this is These guys are both 
throwing everything with fight ending intentions. He's hurting bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Jones goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. He's hurting bad here. Back to his feet. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Big shot here to move back. Engages in the single collar tie. And there is the final horn. What a 25 minute affair tonight. We're going to the scorecards. Ladies and gentlemen, now in five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49 46, 50 45, and 49 46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. John Bones Jones! All right, so John Jones doles out a lot of damage as usual, but also as usual, not forcing the finish. You heard it from Bruce. Jones, your winner by decision tonight. Jones never comes outside.